How are you both doing today? Great. Man. Yeah. Good. I just said to Sophia, you know what? We've got to enjoy every moment and every last interview of this mm. because this is our last day. And even though it's a celebration and a relief, mm -hmm. yeah. it's also like, you know, it's been, it's been, it's been lovely. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, I, had, I was fortunate enough to attend the premiere last night. Uh, your performances from both of you were outstanding. Cora is 100% a hero that is a badass that I can just root for. Mm -hmm. And I got to say, Ed, Atticus, he's a villain you love to hate so much. Mm -hmm. How do you go about connecting with the characters to, to bring them to life? Sophia, why don't we start with you? Um, how do I go about connecting? I I just have to find the elements that that I understand, even if I don't agree. Mm -hmm. But to go about that, I just read the script over and over and over. Spend time with it. Mm -hmm. And with Cora, it was necessary that I spent time in the in the in the stunt room with everybody. And I wanted to hold a gun, and I wanted to I wanted to get to a place of exhaustion. Yeah. I wanted to get. I needed to work against something. Mm -hmm. I didn't want things to be too easy. I would go the extra. I would do the extra. Um, abs, or I, want, I just wanted to be in that place. And sometimes I, when I when I when I work against something like that, especially for a character with so much with that kind of depth, with that kind of past, with that amount of trauma, I wanted I need to work against something. Right. So that was helpful, and also just talking a lot with Zach and exchanging about the intention and and where we're coming from when it comes to this character. There's an element in movie number two that we will find out that I had a hard time grasping, you know, uh, on, and I, I just did not know how to go about that one aspect. And it took me a while. It, it's something that was, to me, I just did not know how a human being could come back from something right. like that. And and I, and I was able to, I think, to come to my senses and, and it all made sense and I understood it but it took me a while mm. it took me a while but I had you just have to spend time with it I guess yeah. that's how. live with it right? Yeah. yeah live with it spend time with it how about yourself Ed because like again your Atticus is just like you love to hate him like he's so intense and you have this great scene with Corey that just kind of sets the tone in this in the movie for for the kind of villain that you are how do you how do you build that character and connect them you know you start it starts kind of analytically um as soon as you get the screenplay, right. you know, trying to understand what the screenwriter and director, which happens to be the same, same person, person yeah. um, wants you to achieve, to understand what your position is in the story, how you're serving the protagonist and, and the narrative as a whole. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, it's always about the help of the crew, mm -hmm. you know, so Spider, my stunt that will really help me inform my physicality, the way I held the staff, and right. we'd experiment with, with kind of different rules of how I, how I would walk and and what I would do at certain times, and you know Stephanie, um, head of uh, costume designer, you know we would have the the most incredible like brainstorming sessions, and we were so on the same page, and um, I look back on those sessions, it's like this is what creativity is all about. You know, um, collaboration. Yeah, collaboration. Like, yeah. yeah, you know, this scene. Like, you know, I want this. I need to have the sleeves rolled up. We got to show this, and you know, the scene before is this, and then for the final battle, and then part two. There's decisions that we've made, which are just, you know, you're gonna see. I and um, to it. <laughs> and so you know, it becomes informed by all these different stages, and then last but not least, especially with this, it's like you have all the, this stuff in your head conceptually, is that, and then you get opposite. Mm -hmm. the actors and it becomes real, real. it becomes something else mm -hmm. you see choices that they're making and it kind of changes what you're doing and changes the way you do it but i suppose i i i um i i i i really want to feel informed when i step on set so that i can just let go and go into um flow state and and do something different every take and kind of push the uh person op opposite me push their buttons um as much as possible not just for my benefit or, or, or for the editor's benefit for my character, but for them mm -hmm. to understand what they need from the scene. And if they need their buttons pushed, then, you know, they, mm -hmm. that's it. Let's push some buttons. Well, that's awesome. You, again, your performances were outstanding and they were just so real and authentic and they came from a really honest place. So that's why I wanted to ask you just how you find that. So again, thank you so much for taking the time to join us on the Geek Centric Podcast. It was an absolute honor to meet you guys and thank you. Thank Thanks, you. Awesome. Thank, thank you so much. Way.